All right, guys, I am back once again. This is De Hoffman for the Blood Oyster Cult channel, and this is my shining moment. Finally, finally, after years and years of waiting for this to show up, I finally got a bunch of plastic in a box. Icons of the Realms, the Yawning Portal in. Now, Part of why this is so exciting for me is because I fell in love with the Yawning Portal when I went to the Adventure League's uh, big campaign. So when I first met Chaz, he was talking about this convention and I couldn't understand what he was talking about, but he was saying that uh, it's a two day event. You go in, you get a character built and you go on all these adventures. And at the end of the night, they have an epic battle, which involves everybody in the convention. And I was looking at it and it sounded kind of fun. He had free tickets, so I said, sure, I'll go. And I said, you know, if I don't really excited about it, uh, it, it does go on pretty late. I might not stay for the epic adventures at the end of the night. And he's like, no, you don't understand. This is what it's about. If anything else, you stay for the epic adventures. And I was still a little bit wish-washy about it, but he promised me that that was what I had to do. So, of course, I do it. And the epic adventure that I did the first year was a yawning portal expedition. And it it's not going into the yawning portal underneath and doing all these adventures. It was that uh, you had to go throughout the bar itself and figure out everybody had their own little uh, side quests that they had to accomplish as characters and to achieve finding, uh, you had to find Durin, the bar owner, because he went missing and this evil lady was trying to get the deed to the bar and nobody knew who he, who he was. And the great part about it was uh, you still go to a table uh, with up to like eight adventurers with you and the DM and it's all these people that I didn't know and the first part of the adventure is just getting into the bar because there is a uh, doorman who uh, only lets you in if you're on the list. And so, as playing my favorite type of character, and my favorite character, who I'm namesaked after, De Hoffren, the bard, uh, I said that we were the Wild Stallions. Excellent! And we were supposed to be playing tonight, and we're the band, and we should go in. And I was able to roll a high enough bluff that I was able to say everybody in my party was band members with the manager. And we went in and it seemed like every single incident that we couldn't get out of, we just bluffed really well about being a band and rolled really high on performance checks, even though nobody else in my party were <laughs> performers. At one point, we even had to get on top of the bar and sing and perform while one of the other party members tried to steal a bottle, which turned out to be a genie. So, epic, epic night, and since then, I have been in love with the Yawning Portal. No, you've been in love with bards. Bards. Bards, in bars of yawning. Ugh. Yes, every chance I get any new character, I will always be a bard. Even my highest level character, it started off as a paladin and she went in to take ranks of bard just so that she could do hypnotic pattern. But because of that, I spent stupid amounts of money <laughs> to get this. A bunch of plastic. It's like Legos. But better, better replaceable when you stomp them. I'm not going to stomp on them. So we're going to open this bad boy up and take a look at it. What about the NBA? Uh, never been open. NBA. Uh, never been 
NBRF, never room for box. Well, that's why you buy two. No. I have three of each. One to display, one to open, and one just in case. Why? No, you don't. You don't spend that stupid money for two of those. No, that ain't happening. Twelve seconds later. All right, so this is what it looks like when you first open the box. Super exciting. And you can see it is beautiful. Beautiful pieces, all safe and snug. And... Don't touch it then. Leave there it be. is nope. Duran. Nope, let it be. The barkeeper. Nope, no, the no, owner. no, keep it safe. Don't fuck with it. Collection of crap grows and grows. And there is a second layer to it with more, more pieces. This is going to be an epic, epic piece. Let's get going. No, I'm not going to put that fucking together. Take a picture, put it back in the box. Yeah, ridiculous. You're going to put that thing together? I'm going to try. Are you fucking kidding me? Why wouldn't I put it together? A, because it's huge. And there's nowhere I'm gonna let you display that in the house. And B, because it's huge, and there's nowhere for you to fucking put it. I will find a place to put it. This is a beautiful piece of artwork. I'm gonna take you to the yawning portal and we're gonna venture there and you're gonna fall in love with it just like I did. And you're gonna be so happy that I got this. You can't even play the Dungeons and Dragons that I played. No, you're not gonna take me there. I'll take you there. There's not a green forest with a green dragon I'll and a black forest there. with a black dragon. Holy shit, what are you doing? Are there instructions? So, no, that is the bad thing that about this is it does not come with instructions. Then put it back in the box, find them on the internet. No, we're not going to have extra screws left over. Hell, I don't even want to put together. I don't want it put together. Where the fuck are you going to put it? Baby. I don't where are you gonna put it? For right now, until we find a spot. How about in the middle of the coffee table? That's what he said. What dinner, coffee table? Dinner table. No. On this side of the dinner table, we don't use this side. No. Or, ooh, I have an idea. If you put it together, I get to let the children pretend they're Godzilla. No. That's your choice. If it's put together, then they are go, not go Godzilla. They're not going to go Godzilla on a $400 piece of plastic portal. Plastic portal. My bad. Bro, bro, Godzilla. Well, Alexander, are you ready to destroy? Why wouldn't I want to try to put it together? You know how long I've waited for this? Not nearly long enough, apparently. Hey, Christmas Eve, uh, stop. What? Stop. What? Have you pulled up any specs or diagrams online to put it together properly? No. So when you fuck it up, you've wasted $300 to snap that bitch in half. Yeah. Is that what you're telling me? We just spent $300 for you to break something? Because... We could have found something for you to break for way less than $300. You're not even going to try. You're not going to look up diagrams, specs. Even Legos have fucking specs. You're just going to hey. just going to dive in. This Dungeons and Dragons, Icons of the Realms, the Onyx Portal, Portal miniature set is supposed premium to premium set. Premium There's set. There's a is made by WizKids. Brought to you by WizKids. Wiz Kids and their Wiz Kids tiles are made to where you could put them together without snapping or breaking stuff. Or you could use that fucking code on the back and pull up the diagram and see if it's something you're willing to do because it might take 30 years to put this bastard together. Oh, I think if you're gonna put under this back, construction, the website is under construction. If you're gonna put it together, you should put it together in front of all these people so you can show them how easy. Yeah, totally. 
It is, and that's what I'm telling you. One of the good things that Wizards, WizKids does, the people that put together this with their tiles and stuff, it, it's so it a, only fits together one way? It only fits together one way. And well, you think no. you can figure it out? It, no instructions, it, you, you can do it on your own. No instructions needed. They make it to where these things go together and don't break. Okay. Do they make it so they, they go together without needing instructions? You can just intuitively put it together. Yes. You can look at it and you, you just know. Yes, because you know what walls look like, what floors look like, what tables look like, windows. You don't know what tables and windows look like. I have played Dungeons and Dragons with you more than once. Hey, I was a lot better than Chris. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look how amazing and much detail. Look how amazing much detail? Amazing and much detail goes into this. Oh, yeah. Amazing much detail. Did you tell them that you had to buy the furniture separate? I told them in previous videos that I bought all the extra pieces separate. So there, it comes with some furniture but an entire extra bar set with extra tables and drinks. It's got the drinks and the bar kegs and chairs and more extra bar, bar kegs. Bar, bar kegs? Bar kegs. They're not beer kegs or ale. They're, they're bar kegs. Okay. Because they're in the bar. So they make some oh. bar kegs. Oh, yes. If they were at a fraternity, they'd be fret kegs. Mm, I'd like the fret kegs. <laughs> what? You have lost your mind. You're just... It doesn't come with instructions. If it came with instructions, I would instruct the instructions. So instead of waiting and seeing if it's available somewhere, you're just going to... Okay. Alright, after further inspection, I hate to admit it, but I think my husband might be right. There are extra pieces and little things that sl slide into other slots to make slots to connect the slots. So I've looked through this a couple times now and there are literally no instructions. So it might be a good idea if I go online try to find instructions because why would they include instructions on how to it's not Legos that they know you're gonna fuck it up so we're gonna go on a short intermission and by short intermission I mean we probably won't see the rest of the make the rest of this video till next week uh, wish me luck in hoping to convince my husband to let me display it somewhere talk to you guys in a bit